okay, this is my uh, delta. This is hopefully going to be a 3D welder. I've got a GE Tech Melzi board, uh, which has uh, been flashed repeatedly. The firmware that I find works best is the MTU Delta Most firmware. And this has a computer power supply feeding power here. And these all go to the X, Y, and Z motors, which are just standard stepper motors. Uh, this is uh, supposed to move under stationary welding gun. The problem is I cannot get this code to interface properly with Repetier. As I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to first by connect here, and hopefully the uh, Repetier will connect with the printer. Okay, we're connected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate with the manual controls that movement is possible. And here's X minus, X minus, and I'm going to go back with X plus. A little bit more there. Okay, now here's a Y plus and Y minus. And now I'm going to go in a Z direction, a Z movement up. Here's Z faster and faster. And now I'm going to go further up. And now I'm going to go back down with Z. Faster speed or slower speed. A few steps at a time, all the way down. Now, I'm going to show you the difficult part, which is attempting to home. Um, so I'm going to get this, I'm going to, I'm going to turn off the motors, and I'm going to position this down here. I'm going to show you two things. One, this is trying to home when it's at the bottom. Now, all of these, these are the stops, the end stops. There are three of them. All of them are functional because the M119 command <laughs> shows that they're either activated or not activated, depending on what, what they're doing. But I'm going to try now homing. And when I do this, I'm going to have to be very quick to turn it off, as you'll see. So now I'm hitting the home button. Now I have to stop that because otherwise it's going to break the effector. That's how the effector gets broken. Okay, that's homing in the down position. Now I'm going to do more than 50% up. And I'm going to home again. Let me get back into manual control. And here's home again. I have to be quick with the emergency stop on this one, too. As you can see, it will not home. Now, I can attempt to home them individually, but even that is fraught with problems. As you'll see, I'm going to try homing X. Doesn't really do much of anything. Now, after I've done X, if I try Y, it doesn't do anything. And Z. Same problem. So it's as if this machine, A, does not realize the end stops are doing anything, even though the M119 command says that they are. Or it also believes that there should be more travel distance. In other mm. words, maybe this should be a longer axis. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on it, but that's where I am so far. With the Cura software, it will not even connect to the printer with this firmware. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm going to disconnect. And I'm going to turn off the power supply and disconnect the Melzi board. Thank you.